All right, guys, back for another reaction. Uh, this is uh, from Mojo.com. Watch Mojo.com. Uh, top 10 movie themes. Movie theme songs of all time. Let's take a look. Who's a black private dick that's a sex machine to all the chicks? Shaft! The right song is everything. Damn right. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten movie theme songs. I'm singing in the rain. For this list, we've decided to stick with pop songs that feature prominently in iconic films and have chosen to leave out instrumental themes. I can't hear you, buddy. Back me up. A wee Number 10, Irene Cara, Flashdance, What a Feeling from Flashdance. While many may remember Maniac when thinking of Flashdance, it's Irene Cara's anthem that defines this film. With its 80s synth-pop sound and triumphant message, Cara took home a Grammy, a Golden Globe, and an Oscar for this movie theme. And why not? The song serves as the flick's bookends, playing as we're introduced to Welder by Day, Stripper by Night, Alex Owens, and subsequently in Alex's iconic final audition. Number 9, Eminem Lose Yourself from 8 Mile. If you had one shot. Without taking the movie into consideration, this is one of the most successful mainstream rap songs ever. It won Grammys and an Oscar, and more importantly, it's immediately identifiable by an entire generation. Time's up, over, loud, snap back to reality, oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes gravity. Written by the film's main character, Rabbit, Lose Yourself moves through the flick's emotions and struggles. But most importantly, this rousing anthem gets us cheering for the hero and caps off the entire movie perfectly. Number 8, Survivor, Eye of the Tiger from Rocky III. Into its third installment, the Rocky franchise already had one of the great theme songs. But a new decade needed a new theme, and Sly Stallone couldn't get his hands on Queen's Another One Bites the Dust. Cue Survivor to strut in and pick up the pieces. Not only did they hit the right note with fans, they also revolutionized workouts for eternity. Number 7, Simon and Garfunkel, Mrs. Robinson from The Graduate. Simon and Garfunkel contributed several songs to Mike Nichols' landmark 1968 film about disaffected youth. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Their track, The Sound of Silence, punctuates the flick in all the right places. But it's the Grammy-winning and chart-topping Mrs. Robinson that stands out as the movie's theme. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The tune directly references the characters, but maintains its obscure and esoteric qualities. Plus, the film's climax just wouldn't be the same without it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Number 6, Adele, Skyfall from Skyfall. This is the end. Oh, that's a little too high. <laughs> Hold your breath and count yeah, this is a to little too high. You can't talk theme songs and leave out Bond. There are at least a dozen solid hits in the group, yeah, with Paul McCartney, and 
007 theme icon Shirley Bassey turning in epic melodies. Diamonds are forever, forever, forever. But for our money, Adele's Skyfall is number one with a bullet. Skyfall is where we This multi-award winning track shares the film's darkness and finality, harkens back to Bassey's classics, and reminds us that Bond themes always hit their mark. Number 5. Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me from The Breakfast Club. Don't you forget about me. Whoa, easy, Jim Kerr, we didn't forget about you. No one wanted to record this synth pop classic in its early days, but the band's label compelled them to do it. Good thing, it became their biggest hit and arguably the reason people don't forget about Simple Minds. But more than that, the song brings you back to an innocent time in the 80s when Saturday detentions could be unforgettable. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, 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 don't. Number 4, The Bee Gees, Staying Alive from Saturday Night Fever. Like Survivor did with Eye of the Tiger, The Bee Gees permeated pop culture with their signature song. Sure, there are tons of disco classics on this soundtrack, even a few more by the Bee Gees themselves, but you can't beat this track about the struggles of big city living. Since Tony Manero first strutted across our screens, pedestrians everywhere have been humming this to match their assured strides. Number 3, Bill Medley and Jennifer Warren's I've Had the Time of My Life from Dirty Dancing. Of all the theme songs to all the 80s dance films, this one stands alone as king. It won the awards trifecta, hey, baby. is one of the most unforgettable duets ever, and it forms a pitch-perfect marriage with the film. The one thing I can't get of. By that we mean it's every bit as emotional, sappy, and, let's face it, cheesy as Dirty Dancing. But don't worry, it's also the Swayzeist. Number 2, Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On, from Titanic. Uh, <laughs> Surprise, it's not number one. It's one of the biggest songs from one of the biggest movies ever. That means it's also one of the most overplayed tunes ever. Oh, come on, take off your grumpy old man hat and try to bring yourself back to a more innocent time, 1997 to be exact, when all that mattered was the love between Rose and Jack. Can't quite do it? How about now? Number one, Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You from The Bodyguard. And I yeah, I thought this would be up there too, but I didn't know it would be number one. We'll always love you. Whitney contributed many smash hits to the best-selling soundtrack in history, but there can only be one. This song began its life in 1974 as a modest country ballad by Dolly Parton. Yeah. Well, When performed by Whitney Houston for The Bodyguard, I Will Always Love You struck a profound chord with audiences and made sure the film's soundtrack was the first album ever to sell a million units in one week. 